Hi everyone, this video is a quick tutorial on how I've created this image, this reading tracker in PowerPoint presentation. If you don't have PowerPoint, you have another software for creating presentation or you're using Google Slides, this is also going to work and this video will also be useful for you. If you would like to check out the video about my reading journal, I will leave the link down below and let's jump right to it. So we're going to start with drawing a simple shape, which is a rectangle. And I think that I will need something around this size. After we draw the shape, we need to make it white and give it the black outline. This is, of course, in case we want to color it later. If you want to give it the background straight away, you can just choose any color you want. But I'm going to color mine with the markers. As you can see, I'm playing with the thickness of the outline a little bit because I'm not sure what exactly I need and I definitely don't want to make it too thick. Now we're going to create shelves. We will take another rectangle and we will draw a very thin one at the top of our big rectangle. In order not to click on fill and outline every single time, what you can do is click on the big rectangle, click Command Shift C or Control Shift C based on what you're using, Mac or Windows, and then click on the thin rectangle on the shelf and click Control Shift V or Command Shift V. What it's going to do for you, it will copy the style, so the colors and the thickness of the outline of the big rectangle, and you will paste it onto the small rectangle. So it will save you a little bit of time. Now we are drawing the shelves and then we need to make sure that they're aligned and we are distributing them vertically. Now it looks pretty nice. Now let's start drawing books. Again, we are starting with a simple shape. Now we're going to make it a little bit more interesting. We will add this little element and then we will align it to center, making sure that it looks nice. It's all well aligned. We can play with the size a little bit and also change the weight of the outline. Again, it's completely up to you. As you can see from the video, it took me a while to figure out what I want. And this is completely fine. The good thing about it that you can change everything very quickly and just experiment. So we have our first book. Now let's group these elements to make sure they all move together. We can use the hotkeys based on what you're using Mac or Windows, or we can use just the menu. Now we're going to resize the book. Don't forget to hold shift as you're resizing to make sure that the sizing of all the elements is the same. Nothing is moving. Everything is aligned. And let's create another book. Now we're going to add some lines. Again, we will copy the style, copy the line to the bottom. And here is book number two. We're going to group it again. You can use the hotkeys. You can use the menu. I always forget the hotkeys, to be honest. And I am going to move it right there onto the shelf going to make it a little bit smaller and probably thinner. And again, you can just play with the size as you see fit. Just make sure that your books are aligned and it looks like they're standing in a row. We can copy exactly the same pattern and just resize it and it already looks like a different book. So now we have three books already. Let's create book number four. And sometimes we don't need to add a lot of details. We might just add a rectangle. Now we have four books. In my reading tracker that I showed at the beginning, I had 40 books. But in this one that I'm creating for my friend, I'm going to have 50 because this is her reading goal. Now, as you can see, I'm just copying the elements. And technically, that just could be it. You don't have to create any other book styles if you don't want to, but I will just show you how I make some other styles. So here we're just going to add an extra line and you see it already looks different. I'm copying more elements and just to make sure that they don't all look the same, I'm just resizing them, playing with the size a little bit. I'm not a graphic designer or anything, but I'm just 
trying to make it a little bit more interesting. Also, you can just lay some book down and this is what I'm doing here just to make sure that it looks like a real bookcase. All right, so our first shelf seems to be almost ready. Now let's add some decorations. If you're using PowerPoint, you have such thing as icons. In PowerPoint, if you type plant, you're going to get quite a few kinds of plants that look very nice and you can just put them on your shelf. You can also use a candle if you want to put a candle on your shelf. I'm not going to do it, but I'm just showing you the examples of art you can use. If you're making a reading tracker for a kit, you can put a toy. These images look very nice too. Now I'm just playing with the weight of the outline again and I will, I will put these plans on the shelves. If you are using Google Slides and I think that in Google Slides this is not an option, what you can do is you can just Google outline icon black and white transparent background, download it and then paste inside of your shelf. If it's for personal use, I'm sure you won't get any problems, but of course, if you are downloading somebody's work from the internet and you're not checking the license and you want to use it commercially, you might get in trouble for that. So now, as you can see, I have finished my first shelf and we're going to do exactly the same with the second shelf. If you are as lazy as me, what you can do is take a few books from one shelf, group them, go to arrange, rotate and flip. And here you go. You have a different element now and you can just copy it onto another shelf. Very lazy, but I'm going to do it quite a few times and I'm sure it's going to look okay. Another element that you can do is the book that is leaning towards other books and this is how you do it. You just take a simple shape and just rotate it, make it lean onto another book on the shelf. Now it's time to add our second plant. So the first plant doesn't look that lonely. And great news, our shelf is done. I hope this video was useful. If you make your shelves using this tutorial, please let me know in the comments. You can also leave some links to the shelves that you've created. I will be very curious to check them out. And if you want more tutorials on how to create simple images in PowerPoint, please let me know in the comments below. I will be very happy if you subscribe and go check my other videos and have an amazing day.